What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're not subscribed yet, definitely go ahead and subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up. I am here with my good friend Steve. I know you guys like having Steve on the channel, so I brought him back. We're actually gonna do a video today on Express. And today we're going to pick out a few outfits. He's gonna go ahead and pick one. I'm gonna go ahead and pick one that we believe men should be wearing for outfits for Valentine's Day. So stay tuned. So I'm gonna do a full sweep, get the layout, work around, make sure that I'm picking the right pieces. Uh, thinking about doing maybe uh, business casual, but also maybe some jeans, maybe a nice blazer, dress shirt and tie. So let's see where we go from that. Alright, so basically my outfit, I think I'm just going to go with something a little bit more basic. Uh, not like basic basic, but you know, something just kind of that you guys will be able to relate to. I don't want to get too wild with anything. Yeah, both of them would be bad. Get away from here. Yeah, you, you don't understand how bad I want to beat Steve on this, okay? <laughs> See, if you want to have like a safe bet kind of, as far as like a base, go with like a charcoal gray. Navy would actually be another good color. Uh, if you absolutely have to and it's like what you want to do, pick up some black ones, but definitely keep it a little bit more with like gray or blue. Black is more like your formal color and stuff like that. And you don't want to look so upfront for like your date or anything like that. Uh, especially if it's a first date or something like that. You don't want to wear black. I think black is definitely one of those colors that I'd steer away from, especially for any kind of dating uh, experiences. Again, don't have my size. I'm 0 for 2. 0 for 2. So Express has two different types of fits. The one I just tried was extra slim. This was actually slim, so that was a 44 regular. It's 42 regular, so kind of like in this color. It's pretty good in the shoulders. Again, it's alright. Sleeve length is actually pretty good. I would always want to close this in the tailoring, but since we're doing the purpose of this video, alterations are always at the end. I'm just picking out a bunch of things that I actually think uh, will look nice. Uh, so I picked up this shirt here and it has some design to it, so I definitely love that. And then we have some like solid ones that I can definitely just build a base off of. I also got this turtleneck. I don't know if I'm actually going to wear a turtleneck though, so we'll figure it out. I mean, it'll go good because again, you picked up. if I pick up these gray ones here, it would go with any other colors that I have. go with this one here uh, so it'll go really good with the with the gray there and I like the fact that it has some big florals on it you know uh, just kind of makes a little bit more of a bold statement So we are out of Express and we have a few things. Uh, we'll see exactly which one you guys like better. Uh, preferably it'll probably be me, but we'll see yeah, what no, you got, absolutely. Steve. We'll see what you got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, so we're back in the studio and we both have our outfits together, the ones that we picked out at Express. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and share a few of the details uh, one by one and you guys will be the the judges. Kind of judges to exactly <laughs> who pulled off the better Valentine's Day look, which one you would actually go on a date uh, with your lady with. So let's go ahead yeah. and get started with the details. Let's do it. All right, guys. So I'm going to tell you about my outfit choices. Always, I like dressing up a little bit more. I feel like if I wore slacks, 
you know, I could always wear a nice dress shirt, but I feel like if I wear a blazer, it gives it a little bit more dressy, a little bit more class. I like wearing a blazer. Sometimes if it's maybe just dinner, something casual, you're meeting at a bar, I always want to just pair it up with a white tee. Yes, you could always wear a dress shirt like Ivan's wearing, but of course, I didn't want to wear a dress shirt. Paired it up with some black, uh, black jeans and of course, white sneakers. Overall, this look is very casual and you could definitely wear it, like I said, to the bar. You could even probably wear it to a nice dinner, but also it doesn't always show that you're overdressing, but there's nothing wrong with overdressing. Right. This look is a little bit different. I ended up going with the button up. Uh, Steve went with a little bit more casual but kind of chic look. I went uh, with a little bit more of a dressed up vibe. I threw on the thick cardigan uh, just because of the fact that it's just going to be so cold outside. And I wanted to show you guys that you can pull off like a thick cardigan to kind of go on these dates. It's, it, it just adds an extra layer and then at the same time it looks very stylish. And let me just show you guys kind of like the details of the shirt. So you can go with like micro florals. I ended up going with some pretty big ones here to kind of uh, make a statement, you know, just kind of make it like more of a, a flowery theme. And then again, it's for Valentine's Day. So let me know what you guys think about this look down in the comments. So I hope you guys enjoyed both of these looks. I'm not going to say that mine's better, but mine is better. <laughs> I definitely not. Uh, yeah. But it, it depends what kind of gentleman you are, right? But a lot of, I, I see a lot of guys. the best gentleman out there, so <laughs> I mean, why not go with this look, right? Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed both of them. Uh, I definitely think that both of these would kind of go with any occasion that you guys would want to go to on a Valentine's Day date, go to dinner, go to a movie, whatever you want. Uh, these two looks are pretty solid on that. So let us know what you guys think. Please let us know who won this little challenge here. Uh, write a comment on who won. I yeah. want to see my name and or his name, but I get it. You won't see my name. <laughs> you guys on the next one, make sure to like, subscribe. Make sure to definitely follow Steve on all his platforms, on YouTube, on IG, yeah. on all those good things. And as always, make sure you guys sell us.